Hi guys, it's Chris again. Um, I've got my proper wee grabber set up now. I've got a proper mic set up now, so hopefully this is the final setup. Um, we're going to try playing a game that may very well be absolute garbage. In fact, I expect it to be. Um, this is another game from Popcorn Arcade, the fine folks behind the atrocious Ninja Bread Man. Um, so. Um, it's gonna be good. Tell I saw the developers are called Data Design, but the uh, Popcorn Arcade is the name of the series of games they've brought out. Um, don't be fooled by the Havoc engine. This is going to be atrocious. Um, it is the incredible classic British motor racing. Um, as you can tell, there is no even music, no music for this loading screen, unnecessary. So um, I fully expect this to be the greatest game of all time. Um, anything less than that will be a disappointment. Let's see. Choose a profile. I'll start from scratch. As you can see, that's as far as I got in it before I got angry, so we'll start from scratch. Listen to that beat. Yeah! Okay, um. Always got the options first, it's a true gamer's um, law. It's an awkward way of showing the controls. Alright, I'll do. I got it. Let's play this beast. Challenge, eh? So I'm stuck with a Mini or an MGA, I can't even see what these other cars There's no way in hell I'm ever going to get far enough to unlock that. Even though it may be the greatest car of all time. Let's go for a Mini. Don't like any of them. Go with that. Bronze Cup. Are we pumped? Are we ready for the first, for the next Mario Kart beater? I know I am. This is going to be classic. And British and motor racing. All wrapped into one. Whoa! This bush is just drilling in the background. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Okay, that's unnecessary. I like the atrocious thunder and lightning effects. That's a good start. Did you see that blimp just appeared? That blimp just appeared. Out of Rewind that back and see that blimp just appeared out of nowhere. Oh my god. Obviously, one of the main aspects of classic British motor racing is the scenery just appearing. That It doesn't happen nowadays, but back in the 1930s um, construction work was uh, being performed at such a high rate that buildings would literally appear in front of you. So that's accurate from what I can tell. Same with the grass garden. Oh, the handling's atrocious. I'm not even doing the handbrake there, that's just normal braking. This is horrible. At least I'm not sixth out of six. That's a problem. Oh, this is terrible. It's a shame because it's, it probably makes it look like I'm being r I'm really bad at this game. But the handling is abysmal. Like the braking either. Just look at that skid. That's just me tapping brake. I'm barely turning the remote as well, it's not like I'm yanking the remote because you've got to turn it like in Mario Kart with the Wii wheel. They're just not bothered to actually fix the steering. Ah. This is one of those races where you might as well just write it off now as 5th place because I'm so far behind 4th. Oh, actually maybe 6th. 2-1. Yeah, Look at that! That blimp just appeared again. Oh my god, this is horrible. 
these are the sort of games we we just don't review um, for the magazine because we, we kind of hope people can use common sense and just take one look at it and think no we, you don't there's no point in us wasting paid space telling you not to buy this game because it's so obvious um, look at this is it speed skate without the speed yeah police car that's the style police coming to take me away for playing this this is horrible Look at the map at the bottom, look how far behind I am. Is there any point in me finishing this race? Yes, there is. It's called Never Giving Up. Goonies never say die. And while I'm not a goonie, I uh, agree with their ethics and morals. Right, watch when I finish this lap you'll see the blimp just appearing out of nowhere again. What the hell is that? Classic, it's a Havoc engine in action folks. Right, ready for this blimp? I'm going to stop and see if I can just make it appear. Right, no blimp. No blimp. Where is it? No blimp. There it is! How does that work? I'm going to go backwards and see if I can make it appear again. Look at that! Bye bye blimp. Hello blimp. Oh that's amazing. Alright let's finish this race just for the sake of completion. Oh. So yeah this is classic, I can't remember the name, classic British motor racing. Um, in case you're wondering how I got this, I gathered it from the dregs at the back of the O&M games cupboard. Um, we basically keep all the review codes we get sent. Um, so I found this sneaked away at the back. Um, and in case you're wondering why there isn't a review in the magazine, um, I would think the previous uh, coming up for 8 minutes would be perfect um, example of why it's one of the worst racing games ever created. Um, if you're, unless, I mean you might be a sadist and you might like punishing yourself, um, in which case this is right up your street, and, and you might be an illusionist as well and like the idea of objects disappearing and appearing from plain sight, in which case, like, get stuck in because um, this will yank your crank, but if you're a normal human being with a shred of dignity then you'll probably leave us out. Right, okay, I'm going to try a power... Look at that! Right, come on then. we try and power slide at the end. Ah! Oh. Well, folks, that was British Motor classic British motor racing. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, I certainly didn't. Um, if you want another to see another track, uh, you need only see the word in the comments below. Um, otherwise I'll move on to something else in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.